Hello everybody, welcome to the video. Today we're playing on the Amiga stage. See by the screen, playing a tremendous game. This is one step beyond. This is my long play. This is part two of two. First video contained 50. This one's contained 50. There's 100 in this game. So without further ado, we're going to continue with 4001, level 51. Let's go. Okay, resume the game. One step beyond. A single to push over. A puzzle platform created by Red Rat Software and published by Ocean. Released in 903, one year after the first game. Right, this is level 51. Password is 40001, which contains a grand total of 12 platforms. Do them in the right order and you gain a token for me, but only if you do it in the time limit. Now this one contains my least favourite platforms, which are the in and out platforms. This one contains two of them. So when it's underneath your feet, you should be okay to go. And that was very close though. But anyway, we end it and we get a token from it. We ended up with 13 seconds. As Hard Rain battles the windows, Colin Curley has settled down to play his favourite game, Pushover. What is his favourite snack? Colin Curley reached the final level and two amazing things happened. He popped his last quaver and completed the game. This explosive 1 in a million combination produced the most astounding effect. Upon Colin, it digitised, curlified, random bombed, deep into his chip pan of his own computer. It's an electronic nightmare in which his only way of escape is to complete the amazing array of challenges. Right, okay, going well so far. Trick to be jumped down to there, which hurled it into the air, down to there, and now we're good to go. Jump there, diagonal down left, that is the exit done. Superb, 18 seconds we had, that was level 52. In it goes. Okay, password 30953. This one is level 53. This one is challenging. Right, first things first, we go down through the floor. But again, my least favourite platform feature here. We've got to use them wisely. Right, there we go. Small jump to the left, small jump to the left. We jump through the floor. Jump down. It's going to be stunned in the process. Right, big jump to the left, small jump down. Resulting in a somersault, followed by another somersault, making it a double somersault. Right, down we go to here, up we go to there. Platforms have got to be where we want them to be, otherwise we won't be going anywhere. So, up we go to there, and then a big jump up there. Fantastic! There you go, and one done, ended up 1 minute 5. In he goes. Next in store is level 54. Again, difficult, which is no surprise. The more we get in this game, the more challenging this level is going to get. We go down to the bottom left section. Again, we're jumping around all over the place. There's one, there's two. This is fine, he lands further on his feet. Jump right, jump left, get rid of this one on the left. We do that by jumping there. Then jumping through the floor. Then we take a direct big jump up to the top right. So we've got to get rid of this one on the top right now. So we do this by jumping from there to there. Diagonal jump down there, which throws you into the air. Boom! Jump down to there, that will get rid of any ones that are in a diagonal angle. Small jump left, small jump bottom right. Down we go, small jump right. Again, we've got difficult platforms, but we made the most of them. Fantastic! There we go, we ended that with 42 seconds this time. 54 is complete. We arrive at level 55. Right, jump from there to there. Now, tokens. On successful completion of a puzzle within the time limit, the player will be awarded a token. These build up as you progress through the levels and can be used should you fail a puzzle at any stage. Again, a lot to see, a lot to do, but again, this one is down to luck. Most of it just does its own thing, but again, you need the platform to be where it should be when you need them to be. So again, hopefully it will be. Jump from there to there. Perfect. Jump to there, jump over to here, and then you've got to basically repeat the process, but again, do it at the right time. So a little bit of a delay should be enough. So jump from there to there, jump to the delay, and then jump up there, and hopefully, we should be fine. If you've gained tokens, you can use them when prompted to by a message box to restart the puzzle at a point prior to making the wrong move. Okay, down we go, down we go. Quickly, quickly goes it. Down we go. It's in the right place. Fantastic. Big jump, exit. Done. Lovely jubbly. Have some of that. In he goes. Okay, level gives you 1 minute 39. We're 5 away from the next Quaver Zone. This is level 56, and again, not too bad this one. The passcode is 09227. 16 platforms in total, but most of them are actually arrowheads, which is fine because we're going the way I want to go. We do have a difficult platform, but provided it's there where you need it to be, there's no issues there. But make sure you make the right step at the right time, you don't want to be stuck here. So, we wait patiently, jump left, jump up right, and big jump up left. Boom! Have some of that! Another one done! Jump for joy! Don't blame him! Level 56 is complete! 
Okay, this is 59 seconds it gives you. Now this one is level 57. And again, a lot to see, a lot to do, but again, it's all down to timing. Now sometimes, when your character is dazed, that'll just buy you a little bit of time. And on a level like this, you need that, because again, we've got those delays. We've got those in and out platforms. So, we have to go up the top there. And we jump up there. And this is the crucial point. This is where you've got to try and delay it long enough so it's in the right place where you want it to be. So as a result of that, we'll do a little hop over to this side. Followed by a step back again, and then hop down. Followed by a great big jump to the exit door. That's the plan, Batman. Down we go. Quickly, quickly goes it. Up he goes. Quick hop, step and jump. And we arrive at our destination with 13 seconds to go. Bingo! Let's have some of that. In he goes. Okay, level 58. This one's quite easy, actually. Now, we do have the horizontal shutter, which closes all platforms on the same road. Instant Colin jumps off it. Which is a problem because we also have the horizontal opener, which is exact operation to the shutter. But this one opens all platforms on the same road the moment Colin lands on it. So this one, we actually put one on the far right-hand side, which, of course, is far too far for us to jump to. So we've got to use the shutter to deactivate it. Because we've got the delay, we've got 15 seconds to do it, which is absolutely plenty. So there we go. One big jump, and there we're done. We've got 29 seconds remain. All platforms have been raised from existence. In it goes. Okay, level 59. This one's done pretty much by using only big jumps. We also have numbers, not seen them for a while, but we have two raised shutters. These platforms will close any other platform along the directional path indicated by the arrows on the special platform icon. But it has two of them. Now, the horizontal shutters can also shut off other shutters. In this case, one there, and also the one on the left. That allows us to get number three. We jump down to the arrow, and that takes us home. We're one away from the next Quaver Zone. We ended that with 25 seconds. One minute, 29. This is level 60, and the return of old friends. A good old in and out platform. It's my least favourite in this game, but without them, we will not be getting this done anytime soon. So again, we've got to use them wisely. Jump from there, jump from there. Go through the floor, jump up there, and activate the delay. Now again, we've got to use these wisely. You can get stuck. We don't want to be stuck in a place we can't get out of it. So we're going to wait patiently, wait for the right time, do a little hop, skip, and jump, and now the place is safe again. Jump there, diagonal jump down, Jump through the floor, the horns will open up, we'll put a path in place, but only if all the other ones are closed, and at the moment they are, including the delay. Job done. There we go, we've got another bag of crisps. <laughs> no one is jumping for joy, I don't blame him, in he goes. Okay, this is level 61, this one looks like a V. Sort of. Already poor design boomerang. However, this one's not going to come back. Not anytime soon. What we have got to do here, we've got to avoid all the special blocks. So we're just going to stick to the plain ones for now. Until we get to our first number, which is number one. Your number is up. Right, one is ticked off the list. Now we've got to make our way to number two. But we jump over that one first. Then we take some back step in, up there, and then jump down here. Now, when you jump on that one, that'll put another line in. Dun, 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 but it's fine, that's fine. We've got no enough platforms to do the job done. Over there, over there. Boom, boom, pow. We have one more done. Superb. 18 seconds, and he's jumping for joy. Well done, mate. In he goes. Level 62 has no special platforms whatsoever. They're just plain and basic ones. Now, pushover was based around dominoes, which had 10 different types. The normal, the tumbler, the ascender, the bridger, the delay, the splitter, the vanisher, the exploder, the stopper, and the trigger. The trigger was the most important one. That was the last one you had to be hit. On this one, we've got 12 different abilities. Of course, we have the horizontal shutter opener, the normal, the bounce down, the bounce up, the bounce up right, the bounce up left, the delay, the race shutter, the safe, the in out, as well as the numbers. But the only one that appears in both games is the delay. But yeah, on pushover, it's the trigger. On here, it's the out packet. But there we go, we made the out packet with 20 seconds to go. Level 63 starts off at the top right section. Again, plenty of time. We don't need that much time. But the creators were quite generous on this one. They gave you three safe spaces. What nice people. Now you can use those as many times as you like. The only downfall is you cannot jump down from a safe space. So make sure you've got a diagonal jump from there, otherwise you'll be stuck. Anyway, we've also got the delay. So I'm going to jump from there to there, jump over to get that far right one done, and we use the bounce down, which will take us to the bounce up, lead us back to the safe point, relying on the delay. So when you jump on that, the 15 second countdown will begin. Right, jump up there, the bounce down will take us down to another plank platform, and that will take us to the final hurdle. 
there, there, up there, and down there. Brilliantly done. Fantastic. Again, plenty of time. One minute, two. Here he goes. Okay, level 64. This one is very gobbledygook. This one contains six horizontal openers, three horizontal shutters. So we spend a lot of time going backwards and forwards, putting platforms back in place. We've already taken that once before, but we have to do it, otherwise we're not going to get to where we want to get to, which is the exit packet. And the top section is not so bad, but the difficult one is the one at the bottom. But anyway, the top one is complete. So, now we take a jump down there, which will hurl us over to the left side, which will put the platforms back in place, allowing us to make a progression back to the way we just were. Does that make sense? No, I didn't think it did. Jump over there, and also we've got the delay. Use it wisely, that starts the 15 second countdown, even though technically you don't see it, it is there, but not for all to see. So, now we jump back, and again we've got to trace our steps. To there. Then we go back up to it. And we're done! I lost track there, wasn't paying attention. There we go, we've done it. Bingo, 15 seconds to go. Level 64 is done. Level 65, again, we have one minute. One minute is plenty. Quite a lot of these ones on here we don't actually need. But we are going to be playing the numbers game. But first things first, we have to get into the correct location. Which we are. We're going to start the 3 second countdown. There's one. There's two. Followed immediately by three. One small jump right, and that eliminates the one on the left. But yes, there's actually quite a few shutters on this one, which eliminate ones we don't actually need, including the delay. That eliminates the delay. Now it's just a case of jumping and getting in the right location to reach the exit door. Fantastic! Again, plenty of time to get the job done. We've done it. In he goes. Level 66. We start off with 1 minute 30. Okay. So many difficult platforms here. So much waiting around here. And hopefully all will go well, which is the original plan. We're going to jump down to there, but you've delayed it, again, you've heard it all before, surely now that would be in the bag. So we jump down to there, but again, we've been eliminating a lot of platforms we've just eliminated once before. But again, we must do that to make it a safe journey back to the home space. So, we put them back in place. Big jump left, followed by another big jump. Then do a small jump, and then go back again. But try and remember what ones you stood on and what ones you haven't, but we do have the delay. Jump from there to there. And we stand on the one at the end, which will put them back in place. One small step to the left, one big jump to the right, and we've done it. We ended it right on top of the 66 there. In he goes. Level 67, look at the time. We've got three minutes. Do we need three minutes? Not really. Right, numbers game. One, two is done. Right, jump up there, and jump back down there, and big jump up there. And keep it going. Okay, big jump over that, small jump down there. That will hurl you back into the air. And then we've got to put them back in place again. But it's fine, because it's plenty of time to get rid of them again. So we're tracing our steps again. One, two, and three. Now it's the arrow game. One, two, three. Four, go to three and jump back immediately, and then jump back up there. Bingo! You can see what we've got to do from now, can't you? One to there, and we are done. Yeah, start off with three minutes. We don't need three minutes. Don't even need two. But there we go, it's done. Level 68. Now, I have to admit, when I did a long play of Pushover quite some time ago, one person commented on that video and said, have you ever played Pushover 2? And the answer back then was no. In fact, I had no idea this game existed. But it's a really good game, but of course, I did play Pushover a lot more. But the first time I played Pushover was actually a demo. And it was the one magazine, June 902, also had a demo of Striker. But there we go, short and sweet, and no one bites the dust. Ended that with 25 seconds. But again, a really good game. Love it. Okay, level 69. On the screen are 27 platforms. However, one of these raised shutters will actually eliminate 16 of them for you in the blink of an eye. It also takes away the four numbers, so it gives you a lot less work to do, which is fantastic. There's not really a lot of time here. So a little jump left, jump down there, a little jump right, big jump, and it holds you into the air, which is fine. It takes you in the air to the place you want to go, which is the home space. There you go, 20 seconds. We're one away from the next quiver zone. Okay, level 70. First thing we've got to do here is play the numbers game. However, we can't do all of them, just some of them. But anyway, we've landed on number one. One step beyond, number two. Three will come back later. Got to eliminate the bottom left section first. So we do a small jump from there. Again, it's going to be seeing stars. Right, small jump right, small jump right. Somersault number one, somersault number two. There's three. Boom! Jump from there to there. Got to eliminate the top right section this time. We're doing the right order. 
Big jump right, small jump left. Down we go. Again, you can be seeing stars. Down we go again. Now we've got two of these raised shutters. Don't technically need them, we've got to jump on them anyway. Right, there's one, there's two. Big jump, big jump up there, and there's the arrow to take the exit door. There we go, fantastic. Again, plenty of time, but that's another bag of papers, Mr. Colin Curley. No wonder he's jumping. Okay, level 71. This one has so many arrows. More arrows than the archery contest. And this one, don't have much full control over your character, because 9 times out of 10, you'll land on a platform with an arrow on it. And if you land on a platform with an arrow on it, you'll go the direction the arrow is pointing. And if you make a mistake, and it's quite easy to do, you could go absolutely anywhere. But at the moment of time, I'm not doing an awful lot. He's doing his thing. But yeah. Now we have full control, but not very long. There's one. And there's two, and off he goes again. But yeah, fantastic. Does it really well. He'll probably go and make himself a cup of tea on this one. But yeah, he's jumping around all over the place, but hopefully he'll arrive where I want him to go. Near the exit door. Now he will be seeing stars. Maybe it's because he's dazed, because he's so dizzy for that somersaulting. But he does it really well. But fantastic, we reach the exit door. There you go. And cut! Well done, buddy. You done well there. End of 71. Right, we arrive at 72. It's like someone's bathroom wall. Right, big jump left. Small jump up left, small jump up left, small jump right, small jump up right, big jump up right, right down here, big jump down right, jump to platform one. Right, now we go to platform number two. Now we have to go to that one, then down there, and then jump up there. Right, that's the worst of it done. Just don't fall to your death. Right, big jump up left. Small jump up left, small jump up left. Now take a big jump down left there, and down there. Bingo! Superb! Done and dusted. Still at 49 seconds remain. There we go. Well done, buddy. In he goes. Okay, we arrive at level 73. First things first. Big jump up there. Fantastic. Right, now we jump over to here. We've got to eliminate the one from there, way, way over there. We do that by jumping off of it. Right, big jump right. Big jump right, small jump right, one, two, three, and four. Say no more, down we go. Jump on that one, we'll eliminate that one up there. Fantastic. Jump down. Right, one, two, three, big jump. Big jump, and jump up there. There you go. All right, mate. Right, down we go. Small jump, big jump, bigger jump. There you go, fantastic. There we go, a little bit stunned once again, but no surprise. But he's happy, he's jumping for joy. In he goes. Level 74. Right, this one's a bit gobbledygook. This one is very easy to mess up. This one's taking about 10, 15 minutes. Right, first things first, you've got to have a bit of delay before you make your first jump. Once you've made your first jump, jump down there, which will hurl you up to there. Jump through the floor. Now, whether you enjoyed it, I don't know. We're going to do it again anyway. Because all we need down this bottom section is one platform. So we take a small jump right, big jump top right, and all those will be taken away. Then we take a big jump back to the top level. We'll just take it back down again. Now this next jump is what makes the big change. Up there will eliminate so many. Now we've got to wait for the in and out one to do its thing. Which is there. One, two, and three. There we go, another one ticked off the list. Fantastic. That is level 34, ending it with 24 seconds. Okay, number 75. First we've got to do is jump up there. The key here is the delay. So as soon as you stand on it, the 15 second has begun. So we've got to think about it. So big jump left, big jump left. We also have numbers 1 to 5. So we jump back, now the platform is put back in place. We do that to get back up to the top. Small jump right, big jump right, keep it going. Big jump right, big jump down. Right, we'll eliminate number 4. Jump there, jump onto there. That puts it back in place. Jump back, and then all of a sudden you jump that, jump onto there, and then it's all gone. Fantastic. There we go. 24 seconds of main. Okay, number 76. A lot to see and do. At the moment of time, it's bombarded with platforms. Yes, at the moment of time. No, it will be at the end. Down left. Up left. Big down right. Small down left. Days confused. We land on number two. Right, diagonal down left. Easy right. Easy right, up right, down, down to four. Sounds like a game of Sega Rally Championship. Easy left, even easier left. Difficult, up left. Wait for a platform to arrive on the scene. Plenty of time, here we go. 
small up left, big down left. Small up left, big jump down. Big jump up right, followed by a big jump down, and we're good to go. Right, make sense? Oh yes indeedy. There we go, big jump right, we are done. Fantastic, level 76 is complete. Here he goes. Okay, we arrive at level 77. I have to admit, this is getting quite difficult to remember now. Right, we start things off with a big jump right. A big jump up left, a big jump up left. Again, this has numbers. Okay, big jump up right, followed by a small jump left, down we go. Right, small jump down right, small jump left, followed by a big jump left. Right, down one, we head over to number two. Right, big jump up right, big jump down right. Okay, now he's going to go on a crazy journey. We're going to end up on platform three, which will be handy if you're going to go get a train. But he does it very well. Okay, big jump down right, down, left, big jump down left. Again, he's going to go on a crazy journey. Up he goes. Doing what he does best. Okay, down, big jump right. Small jump, down left, down, down, and then a big jump up left. Are you with me so far? Hopefully so. This is taking a long time to remember. Right. Small jump up, then we go down. Big jump left, big jump up. There we go. Superb, we're there. We should be. Woo wee! There we go. That was a lot to remember. I took a few notes on that one, but we've done it. Okay, 78 looks like a builder site. Right, jump up there and jump down there. Jump onto the delay. Be quick about it. You need every bit of the 15 seconds on this one. So jump from there to there. This one has numbers, so pretty self-explanatory where I'm going. We're going to go over to number one. Jump over to that, put it back in place. That way we can reach number two. But be quick about it. The time is limited. So jump, jump back, jump up to there, then jump over to number three. Superb. Now we have to jump up to number four. Believe it or not. Head that way, jump, jump, down to number five. And that's pretty much it. Big jump to there, and that takes us down to the exit. So again, plenty of time. Ended it with about 20 seconds, something like that. More than enough time. There we go, that's number 78 off the list. Done. Superb. Level 79, the passcode is 3666 six, six, and 6. Okay, it's difficult, but not as bad as the one we've been doing recently. But the key here is the in and out platform, as well as the delay. So we're going to wait for those. So jump up to there to start the 15 second countdown. Right, jump up there. The top one isn't really much of an issue. The issue is the one down the bottom. But again, the 15 second countdown has begun. Now when you stand, it's going to lose you quite a lot of time. Fragile time. Jump up to number three and we are done. There you go. Not too far away from his next bag of Quavers. One away from the next Quaver Zone. Okay, this is level 80. Again, it's challenging, but what do you expect for level 80? Now, this one has two in and out platforms, which are absolutely key here. So, we have numbers. They're also very important. In fact, they're all important in their own ways. So, again, platforms are going to be going in and out. Do what you can to make it easy for yourself. Right, jump over to there. Now, this next one is absolutely crucial. So, wait patiently, wait for the right time, make a jump. Got one, two, three difficult jumps to do. Very quick succession. Jump to there, it should still be in place, it is. Big jump up to four, big jump over to five. Right, okay, down we go. Most of it is done now, but again, we do need quite a lot of luck here. We'll throw you into the air, hopefully the platform will be there to catch you when you fall. It is. Jump to there, and that's done. All it requires now is a great big jump from there to there. Luckily, he can do it, and so can I. Superb. Five seconds to go, was close. Okay, we've got another bag of Quavers. Now, this is level 81. Either we're in a bubble bath or we're in outer space. Either way, we've got a lot to do. In this one, you've got to focus on one column at a time. But again, do it in the right order. You need to have a solid ground underneath your feet. So we're going to do that by going back here, using the delay, jumping there, and that will put the platforms back in place. But now we're going to be in the right place. But you've got to try and get rid of that bottom one first. Because again, you want to be landed on something solid. So this is my next choice. This is the next column of choice. Now we do a diagonal jump, but again, you want a good platform underneath you. So we're going to try and make a way to that left side, and then go over to the right. But again, we need good platforms beneath us to get us there. Okay, now we need a big jump from there to the top left. One jump down, diagonal down right. 
Okay, big job right. Now again, get rid of this one first. The amount of times I've messed that one up. Okay, now you can see what we need to do. Big jump up there. Again, plenty of time. Down and down. Superb, well done. Number one off the list. Did that with 30 seconds remain. Okay, this is level 82. We start off up here. We need to be down there. So let's head that way now. Right, down there. Jump down there. That will eliminate some of them. Not all of them. But the problem is we've got that in and out one up there. Which is going to cause a little bit of a concern. But as long as we're quick, we shouldn't have an issue. So we jump over to it and we head down. Now we can put those platforms back in place and then head over to the numbers. So jump over there, put the platforms back in place. Big top left jump, down and then diagonal down. Big jump, we head over to number one. That's one way to do it. We do it again. Big jump, do it again. Number two. Diagonal down left, diagonal down right, we head over to number three. And everything else just falls nicely into place. We jump there, big jumps are there. And then boom, boom, pow. Nice, lovely, jubbly. There we go. 52 seconds remain. We're done. Okay, this crazy contraption. This is 83, and it looks more difficult than it is. We do contain quite a lot of backtracking on this one. So, yes, yeah, sometimes you've got to change the steps more than one time. So, anyway, jump from there, jump to there, jump to there, jump to there, big jump up there, and then jump left, which will hurl you in a different direction. Right, big jump up to the top right section. Again, slightly dazed and confused. Right over to there. Now we put them back in place. So now we have to do it again. Jump down there. Jump up there. Jump over that one. Jump down and then go down. Which again, send you somewhere else. So down and down again. But again, we've got to trace our steps again. So all your hard work has been taken away. You're going to put it back in place again. So again, backtrack again. One more. Three small jumps. One, two, three. Three. Small jump down, big jump down. Okay. Small jump down. Again, all your hard work, you just spent all that time, has gone back into place. So we'll get rid of it again. Okay, to there. Big jump. Small jump. Big jump. Big jump up there. Okay. Big jump over there. Big jump up there. Fantastic. A lot of gobbledygook, a lot of backtracking, but we got it done. Ended it with 39 seconds. That was 83. Okay, this is 84, which looks like a Christmas tree. Right, first things first, we go down one level. Okay, down left one. Left one, up left one. Left one, up right one, and then right one. There we go. Again, we throw around a little bit. It's fine. Now we go down. Now we've got to try and get over to the top of the Christmas tree. However, it's not going to be a start on this tree. Only Colin Curley himself, but he is the star of the show. It will do. We go right, then we go down the sides of the Christmas tree with two down big right jumps. Superb. Two small left jumps, and again, you can be thrown around a little bit. Right, two big up left jumps. And again, we'll try and make our way over to the zap shutter. Might take a bit of time, you to be battered and bruised by the time he gets there, but we'll get there, that's for sure. Okay, now we take a big long jump, and a big long jump up to the shutter, eliminating some of the problems. Right, down, up we go, there we go. Now a Christmas tree has no decorations on it whatsoever. Well done, mate. Superb. Okay, level 85. Right, this one has seven numbers. The first one is located at the bottom right corner of the screen. The second one is located at the top left corner of the screen. But yeah, we've got to do them in the right order. But some of them have to be eliminated by using ray shutters. So anyway, number one is ticked off the list. Now we're going to go right top right and do three big left jumps followed by a small left jump which will take us up to number two there we go that one's ticked off the list as well down we go we're heading over to number three so we do this by doing a small right jump then a down left jump and then jump down to number three okay now we do a small up right jump a small right jump a big up right jump and we head down to the ray shutter we eliminate number four Okay, now we go left and left, that eliminates number five. Keep going left, and we're gonna go up, right, to number six. Now we go right, down, and then go directly down right to number seven. Then we take a big jump to the left, go down, and the rest is history. Superb, that was difficult. Again, I took some notes, it was too difficult to remember off by heart. But there we go, we're done. 
Okay, level 86. Amiga Action gave the game 84%. Amiga Force, 80%. Amiga Format, 78%. Amiga Joker, 69%. Amiga Power, 87%. Computer Video Games, 72%. See you, Amiga, 75%. And the one, 83%. Bring it up to an average magazine rating of 79%. Which is not too shabby. Right, this one, we've got the in and out as well as the delay. But we've got to make a good start here. Got to use those more than once. We've got to be up quick about it. So jump from there, and then jump up to there. That's the worst bit out of the way. Jump up to there, jump to there. Now we've got to try and make sure we jump on the right platform from there, to there, down to there. That will take us up to the race shutter. Then we go from left, back to right, and that level is done. Again, plenty of time to do it. One minute and twelve we had remaining on the clock. There we go. Okay, this is at level 87. We have these three separate columns. Now, two of the columns have the in and out platforms, and one of them has a delay. But this is quite difficult to do, because there's quite a lot of luck here. You've got to try and get the timing absolutely spot on on this one. Because if failing to do so, your cat's going to fall to its death. So you've got to make sure the in and out platform is available for all to see at the right time, at the crucial time. But again, with your character's stun, that can save you, or even lose you, some difficult, crucial time. But you can jump from one to the other, so I'm going to wait there, then jump to this one, wait for everyone to disappear, and then we're going to make our move. Like so. That might just have delayed it just enough, because it does take quite some time to do. Down we go, and down we go. Right, I'm going to do the same again, because that works. So again, jump from one, wait for everyone to go in, and we make our move again. Okay, but now we're going to approach the final section, and we do have a delay, so you can't wait too long. Okay. Jump down. Quickly, quickly goes it. There we go. Fantastic. Quickly, quickly. Just. There you go. Success. That was difficult, though. In he goes. Okay, we arrive at level 89. This is the most generous of all the levels so far. This gives you a grand total of ten and a half minutes. And guess what? You don't need that. You really don't need that. But anyway, there is one certain square that can be a big, big handful. And that is the in and out platform. So a lot of luck is needed on that particular platform. But again, a lot of these arrows are just doing their thing. So again, I'm not actually doing an awful lot at the moment of time. I'm just praying for the best. Hoping for the best. So jump up there. Big jump, and this is where it all could go horribly wrong. Jump up there, jump down, jump down there. Fantastic. There we go. Ten and a half minutes. No, we don't need any of that. That's plenty. You ended it with nine minutes and 46 seconds. But there we go. Fantastic. Level 89 is complete. Okay, we arrive at level 90. Again, it's difficult. This one has four in and out platforms. But again, you've heard it all before. Timing is key. Now, I have to admit, I've not fully mastered this timing, but what I tend to do is I tend to use the time at the bottom left corner. Pick a time in your head and play around with it. If it's right for you, then go for it. If it's not, just tweak it by a few seconds and see what works best for you. But anyway, that was okay. Now we go down here. This next section, you'll wait for the clock to read 1 minute 57. I'm going to make my move, and then again, your character's going to be thrown up into the air. But make sure there's solid ground beneath your feet, because of course your character cannot fly. But once we've done that, then we've got the numbers game. So, we jump up there. But again, sometimes you've got to wait patiently, wait for the right time, because otherwise you could be stuck here. So there's number one, we're going to wait patiently for number two. But plenty of time to do it. So it goes in. And then we're going to make a move, jump down. Right, jump over there, and we're going to go over to the finishing point. And that's the end of level 90. There you go. One minute, 21 remains. Level 91, passcode is 06234. A small down right jump, a big up right jump, two small right jumps, and a big up left jump. Start with 1 minute 30. Not too bad for level 91. A big up left jump, a small down left jump takes you to the bounce down, which takes you to the top of the in and out platform. A down right platform takes you to the race shutter, big up left jump, followed by a big left jump, and a big up right jump. And I have to admit, not too bad at all. I was supposed to be a lot more difficult than that, but not too bad. I can handle that one. We ended up with one minute. 
Level 92, start off at 1 minute 30, code is 24851. Okay, I'll be go. You can only jump upwards in diagonal movements to the platform above and to the left or right. This is accomplished by moving the joystick to the diagonal position required. If you wish to jump to the platform that is two spaces up and right, or two spaces up and left, hold down the fire button while you move the joystick to the required position. For vertical up movement, you need to land on a bounce up platform. To jump down, pull the joystick towards you to make Colin jump up slightly at land a platform to retract and dropping Colin to the next open platform below. Right, there's a lot of work to get to number one. Now we're going to head over to number two. We do this by jumping down and a small down right jump. If Colin falls too far for the platform before landing on another, his attempt to complete the puzzle is at an end, and you are deemed to have failed and will be invited to try again. Right, nearly there, not too shabby at all. There's number two, a small right jump, and we're there. Well done, Colin Curley. Brilliant. Level 93. Okay, when you start this one off, you actually start off with 48 platforms on the screen, which is a lot. We've only got to make 18 moves, which is not a lot considering how many there are. The reason why there's not many moves, considering the amount on the screen, is because there's so many shutters. So you're eliminating loads of spaces, pretty much on every single move you do. Right, we do a big upright jump, followed by a down left jump and a small right jump. Then we do a small upright jump, and another small upright jump, and a big left jump. Then another big upright jump. Right, not too far away. Big left jump, followed by a big right jump, and then that's pretty much it. Again, wait for the platforms to arrive on the scene, and then a big down right jump. There we go, superb. There you go. Okay, welcome to a very one-sided game of drafts. This is level 94, gives you 10 and a half minutes, which again is plenty. This one can be done in nine moves. Just do them all in the right order and all should be good, all should be well. Jump up there. But so many eliminated by this next ray shutter. Jump up there and jump up there and then all of a sudden... All gone. Have some of that. Jump to the floor and a small jump right. But yes, so much time. You don't need that much time. And it'll be ten minutes and three seconds. Level 95, okay, we have 1 minute 40, big left jump, small right jump, small up left jump, big up right jump. Right, that takes us to the top of the screen, but what goes up must come down. We do this by doing a down right jump, and we go back to the top again. Right, now we've got to eliminate the top row all together. Small right jump, small right jump, big right jump, big right jump, and a small left jump, and then we go down, not once, not twice, three times, down we go. Small right jump, big left jump, and then a big jump up to the top right. So that will eliminate the one at the top. Now we take a big left jump, and the rest is pretty much done. We jump from there to there, that will take us down to that one, eliminate the entire row, and then boom! Have some of that! Ended that with 52 seconds that time. 95 is complete. Level 96, we have 1 minute 40. Again, not an overly long level, but again, a lot to remember. So, get rid of the bottom left section first, that's the easiest section. Right, again, there's arrows. Once again, we're we'll testing Colin Curley's gymnastic skills. We have numbers 1 to 4 and a delay. But again, the arrows will take you wherever they need to take him. Right. So far, so good. Right, we're going to start the 15 second countdown. So down we go, diagonal jump down to number 1. Two jump down to number 2. Big jump left, head over to number three. Be quick about it, the 15 second countdown has already begun. Big jump, to there, to there, to there. Up there, big jump down there. Superb. It's number four, small jump to the left, small jump down, big jump left, exit. Fantastic, there we go. Brilliant, we're very nearly there now, very nearly there. Okay, level 97. We start off with 2 minutes and 30. I'm going to waste no time on this one because if you're very quick from the starting blocks, the in and out platforms, which this one contains two of them, they will run in your favour. Right, big jump right, and that will hurl you into the air. That will also hurl you into the air. But yeah, two in and out platforms, and when you're standing on it, it will stop doing what it does best. It will stay there until you jump off of it. Head down to number one. Big jump up to the raised shutter. Down we go. Now it's just a simple one, two, three. One step, two step, exit door. Fantastic. There again, again, plenty of time. I'm not too far away. Okay, level 98. This one contains 13 jumps. From me. 
from him, a completely different story. Right, down we go from there. Again, we've got a numbers game. So we've done number one, we head over to number two. Now this one, we go round that six, we do like a V jump. So we go down there, and then up there. Jump down, then we do a small upright jump. Then we jump down, that will head us over to number two. Like so. Step right, down. Then we take a big jump down. Then we're going to do a big down left jump to like raise shutter. And then a big jump left. Big jump right. And we're pretty much there now. Big jump to the exit door. Again, plenty of time. Time was not an issue on that one. 1 minute 14. Level 99. We have 5 minutes. We have 91 spaces. 6 of them are blank. 5 numbers. 9 raised shutters. 7 directions. 1 opener and 1 shutter. The level can be done in 5 moves. There's 1. There's 2. There's three, there's four, and finally five. Not bad for level 99. Have you ever played a level 99 as simple as that one? Not like you're playing it, of course. Excellent, you've reached the Quaver Zone. Time for Colin Curly's favourite Quaver snack. They're curly. You gain a token. There you go, finally made it. It's taken me three days to do it. We have now arrived at number 100. This is 58344. Okay, we arrived. Level 100, we have 15 minutes. The final showdown, the final countdown, the final frontier, the final destination. Now, they did exactly the same in this game as they did in the last game. Level 100 has basically got blank platforms. So you don't know what symbols are on them. You've got to try and figure it out for yourself. It's a nice touch to the game, but it is very difficult though. But anyway, not quite as crazy as the last game. But anyway, some of these have arrows. Now if you jump from there to there, then go from there to there, to there. That one is an arrow. But yeah, not too shabby. You have 15 minutes, which again is plenty. But again, a really, really nice touch to the game. It's been a really tough battle, but I have to admit, I've absolutely loved playing this game. It really is good fun. But there we go, we've reached the final hurdle. We're done. Jump for joy! Congratulations, you are the champion of One Step Beyond. Press fire button. Okay, everybody, it's in my video. That is One Step Beyond. Not a lot to the end, though, but that's retro for you. It's a superb game, and this is Jamie from Morning's Games. Please like, please comment, and share. Please subscribe to my channel. Face a fan badge with a Twitch. Just type in Morning's Games. You find it fairly easily. Please remember to click the bell icon. That'll notify you if you're load. That'd be fantastic. We're not doing these sort of videos. We haven't been making and live streams. And if Friday night, you can time bait clock. It's a hell of a way. You can do it easy. Ciao, bye. See ya. This closes the moment Colin lands on it and drops him to the platform below. If there's no platform below the balance, but. Right, next up is the bounce up. When landing on this... Yeah. This is a tricky platform. It continuously slides in and out and requires timing to land on it once... <laughs> Sorry, mate. So it's important to work out the correct route in order to follow all the...